Hello, people. Hi. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I usually don't come on here much on the Shabbat, but um, I have some important things. I have to come on here and give you a quick video. Uh, so much going on, as you know, if you've been still watching the news. Uh, but I got to just give some real urgent messages here today to you people. Um, uh, you might have was looking at the news. Uh, if you haven't, I have. I was listening to Obama appointing Barbara Satin to serve as one of the, um, you know, whatever, serve one of the leaders on the uh, religious or uh, spiritual uh, board. <clears throat> and uh, she's a transgender, as you know. She was a man once, and now she's a woman. And we got all these things going on around us every day. The world is not repenting. The world is not bowing down. The world is not telling the Lord how uh, they need him in their life. Uh, the world just getting more wicked like Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, also, I'm sure you heard, uh, I don't know if you heard, but the big one is coming. The big one is coming. I know these big quakes are continuing on. Uh, we have Alotala, Alotola. He's saying America is the great Satan and idolater. And, you know, and people, the world is just totally getting more in um, demonic pressures around us every day. This is why I emphasize on the spiritual warfare prayers. I was just praying today. I prayed. I have to pray more now than I ever have. Uh, many people requesting prayer. But I'm going to get into some things here before I get through here today, but I'm not going to be here but a short time, but I want you to take your Bibles with me today and turn to Mark 8, 36 to 38. Mark 8, 36 to 38. <clears throat> okay, and it says here, uh, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or uh, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and all and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Okay, so um, and then I want to go over to Matthew 16, 24, 28. Matthew 6, uh, Matthew 16, 24 to 28. Matthew 16, okay, what I said, Matthew 16, 24 to 28. <clears throat> and it says here, Then said Yeshua, then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Take up his cross, not my mommy's cross, not my father's cross, not my pastor's cross. Take up my cross. Take up his cross, your cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of the Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Verily I say unto you, Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Amen and amen. So like I'm saying now, with all the things going on in the world, people with big quakes about to hit and kill a lot of populations out, a lot of things going to be happening all around us, as we already know. And I just want you to know that we need to be about our Father's business. We need to stop letting the devil run our life. That's my, my little sermon for the day. Stop letting the devil run your life. Stop making excuses. Stop just, oh, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it one day. I'm going to get right one day. I'm going to do it one day. Oh, I'm too young now. I'm too young to get right. Oh, I'm only 15. Oh, I'm only 10. Oh, I'm only 30. Oh, I'm only 40. It doesn't matter, people. Time is running out. Time is running out. I was listening here today to a sermon by um, Prophet uh, Sandu Sandar Severus, and I'm going to post it down below, and that's why I did the video. I want you to really listen to his sermon 
on uh, end time message about a lot of things going to be facing us when the mark of the beast hit forth, when the mark of the beast and the antichrist come forth, and God's people in the middle of it, okay? So I, that's why I did the short video to get that sermon out to you. I heard Friday also from Mina Grebin. She has a, a, a message, an urgent message that God gave her about America, about the prophecies going on with the uh, politicians and all the stuff happening. So you need to listen to that. I did send it out to a lot of people, but in case you didn't get to hear that, I'm going to post both down, that sermon by Sundar and the one by Mina Grebin where God gave her a vision or gave her a dream or talked to her in audible voice about what's going on, okay? So I'm just telling you, it's going to take about, um, going to take a few a few minutes to uh, get this done, but I know that uh, Sundar's sermon is an hour and about 50 minutes, okay? And I think Mina's talking about an hour and a few minutes, so it doesn't matter how long it is. I want you to really listen to that, okay? It's really time, people. It's really time to get about uh, our father's business. I think I heard Sundar was talking about how people need to stop being babies. They need to grow up. They need to realize that you got everybody praying for you. But are you praying for yourself? Are you really seeking God's face for yourself? Are you really, really crying out to him for yourself? You know, time is really running out, people. It's really running out. It's high time to awake. And I'm going to read that right now from Mary not that the Lord is coming. And I'm going to post these links down below for you. And um, I'm not going to keep you here long. I just wanted to come on and give you these updates. Uh, prayer is essential. Prayer is really essential, people. I'm telling you, it's so essential now. I have the spiritual warfare prayers. You can write me. You can say, Marner, I need the spiritual warfare prayers. They are so awesome. Uh, I thank you so much for your prayers. Uh, my little grandson in Alaska it, it has it came the same day we prayed. He was home that night. So thank you for the prayers. I'm praying for Amanda. I'm praying for some other prayer requests that people wrote me about yesterday. And I'm telling you, I'm praying, but you need to be praying for your families yourself. Okay, your families yourself. And long as you're praying with a serious heart, a serious heart, giving your life to Yeshua HaMashiach, letting him come into your heart and fill you with his Holy Spirit and change your DNA from Adam's seed to his seed. I'm telling you, people, you have, you have authority to cast out demons and devils and to put the devil in his place. Stop letting the devil run your life. Stop saying, oh, I got to be on drugs. I got to be on alcohol. I got to be on, I got to have this woman. I got to have three women. I got to have prostitution. I got to have whatever God can heal you he can deliver you from whatever it is I, I have a poem I got to come back and recite to you one day about that how God made everything he made us he made the sun the stars the moon the earth the, the wind the air we breathe he made all of it people so if he made all these things why can't he change your case why can't he solve your case you know it's because we don't go to him people we don't go to him. We can go to the pastor. We can go to everybody. We can get on the phone calling everybody. You need to go to the Lord for yourself, okay? It's nothing impossible for you that he can't do for you that he did for me. I was out this weekend, just going out yesterday, met I know these ladies probably didn't know what to think because soon I arrived, they arrived, and I gave them the two books, you know, uh, What's Behind the New World Order, and first she said, oh, what is it? Is it Jehovah Witness? I said, no, it's not Jehovah Witness. It's from IBE Publications in Alabama, and I said, what is, she said, what it's about? I said, it's, it's about end times and how it's going to affect you, and everybody need a copy of it, and she, one lady got one, and another lady got one who she was riding and driving with, and I'm telling you, time to, it's time to be about a father this business. It's time to do what we can for Yeshua. And I'm telling you people, it's time is running out. If you hear these two urgent messages from Mina Grevin, prophet, prophetess Mina Grevin and prophet uh, Sundar, you will see what I'm talking about. But it's really, really time to climb on board. As the Lord was telling me, if you get, if you jump out of the boat, 
If you jump out of the boat, the boat's going to leave you. And it's true. If you jump out of the boat, the boat's going to leave you. So you need to get back on board and get your act together and stop letting the devil run your life. Stop letting the devil tell you what to do. He's nobody. He gave us authority over the devil. So you need to be really just giving your life to him where he can appoint you to your assignment. Okay? Because time is really running out. Now I'm gonna, let's go here to Maranatha. The Lord is coming. And I'm going to go here. A uh, high time to awake. High time to awake. What a great message. It could have been no other day to have it on because my mind been on this all day and this is just fits the situation. Okay. And that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep. Stop sleeping, people. Time to wake up. For now is our salvation nearer, nearer when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Romans 13, 11, 12. Okay, she says here, the great controversy is nearing its end. The great controversy is nearing its end. Every report of calamity by sea or land is a testimony to the fact that the end of all things is at hand, is at hand. Wars and rumors of wars declare it. Is there a Christian whose pulse does not beat with quickening action as he anticipates the great events opening before us the lord is coming we hear the footsteps of an approaching god you hear that people we hear the footsteps of an approaching god okay then this knowledge of the nearest this knowledge of the nearness of Christ's coming should not be allowed to lose its force and we become careless and inattentive and fall into slumber, sleeping, all the time sleeping, lukewarm. And he said he would cast us out. He don't want lukewarm people. He wants you to be hot or cold, okay? So I'm saying one or the other here. Just go ahead. This is really good. This is really good. Wow, this is really good. And fall into slumber. Don't fall into slumber. Into an insensibility and indifference to realities. <laughs> we get we don't we we looking all around us at the realities. Oh, my bills are high up. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, I'm oh, I can't do this. Oh, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And you know, we crying and whining and, and moping. And we need to be giving our life to him. And he say, greater he that is in us than he that is in the world. So we need to just stop whining and moping and crying and get on the, on the boat. If you've been off the boat, get back on the boat, okay? Because the ark is closing, people. The ark is closing. In slumber, it says here, in slumber, we are in an unreal world. We are in an unreal world. And not sensible of the things which are taking place around us. Oh my goodness. Don't it sound like us? All the entertainments of the world going on. And we just seem to think the world is going to keep ticking and keep ticking and keep ticking. Well, I got news for you. It's going to stop ticking. And soon and very soon, we're going to see Yeshua HaMashiach come through the clouds with all his holy angels. And you better make sure you're not going to be left behind. Left behind, people. Okay, this is here. Here. The, there are those who have the blazing light of truth, the blazing light of truth shining all around them, and yet they are insensible to it, insensible to it. They are enchanted by the enemy, held under a spell by his bewitching power. They are not preparing for that great day which is soon to come to our world. They seem utterly insensible. To religious truth. Are there not some youth who are awake? Those who see that the night cometh and also the morning should work with untiring energy to arouse their sleeping associates. So right. If you're young and got lots of energy, you should be out there working for Yeshua. Like he said, like she's saying here, you know, having that untiring energy. I'm in my 60s now. I'm losing my energy a little bit. But you need those people out there, the young people who are coming to Christ and coming to Yeshua, they should be out there working for Yeshua. So, you know, awaken their sleeping associates. <laughs> I like that. Can they not feel the peril? Can they not feel 
can they not feel their peril? Pray for them and show them by their own life and character that they believe themselves that Christ is soon to come. The, the rapidly diminishing space of time between us and eternity should more deeply impress us. Every day that passes makes one less left us to complete our work of perfecting character. As long as there are many asleep, many sporting away the precious hours in careless indifference, as it were upon the very blink of the eternal world, those who do not believe must be sober, must be awake, must be earnest and diligent and watch into a prayer. Have you, dear youth, your lamps trimmed and burning. So she's talking to the young people here too, you know. Ain't no age on nobody. God got all his people out there. He said the harvest is ripe and the and the, and, and the workers are few and the harvest is ripe and he have no workers. So we need to be working for Yeshua right now, much as we can, while we can, people. That is a wonderful message coming from Ellen G. White from Maranatha. The Lord is coming on page 220. And I'm going to go. I'm not going to have you here today. But we go and listen to Sundar and uh, Mina Grebin. And don't forget about the tracks. Every time I see Sundar, I think about his wonderful tracks. You can order from uh, angeltv.org and request them to give out in your community. They come in many, many languages, free of charge. If you want to give a donation, that's fine. But they're free of charge for the asking. And the books, What's Behind the New World Order, it just I keep trying to introduce them to people every time I go out because we're going to be facing this real soon, people. They are getting ready to come for us. They're getting ready to have a new world order, one world order, one world religion. So I'm just asking you, please, to go and listen to these two messages. That's why I came on here. And I will try to post a few more uh, updates on news stuff, too, as well. And you can look at it at your own time. But I'm going to go now. I'll see you again probably Monday. And I want you to have a wonderful day. And, Father, I just ask that you be with all the people watching today, Father. I bind Satan and all his evil angels below, beyond, beneath, mentioned and unmentioned, known and unknown. I bind all evil spirits on assignment against this video, against the people watching, Father. I just dispatch those holy angels to come into their homes, Father, and, and, and uh, persecute them, Father, and shake them up, Father, awaken them out of sleep. Sleep, Father, helping them know we are in the end at the end. And I just thank you so much for it in a mighty way. I ask that your Holy Spirit just supply all of their needs according to your riches and glory in Yeshua HaMashiach. And we love you, Father. We thank you for your Holy Shabbat. And we love you so much. We thank you for all your commandments that you want us to follow and do because we love you, Father. It's not because they save us. It's because we care for you, Father. And we thank you and we ask it in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. So I see you people later. I just want to come on and do that quick, quick update for you, okay? God bless, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.